Hi, welcome to Arcadia by Tom Stoppard at the Actors Ensemble Berkeley. Um, the play itself is a beautiful play. It is a play set in two different time periods. Actually three if you want to be super specific. The play begins in 1809 in Derbyshire in the Sidley Park at the estate of the Earl of Croom. And we meet his daughter Thomasina and her tutor Septimus. And she is 13 years old in 10 months. The play then travels to our contemporary time, and two scholars, Bernard and Hannah, try to figure out what was happening back in 1809. So the beautiful conceit of the play is that we get to see what happened in 1809, and then we see contemporary people try to figure out what was happening. So we can kind of play along and see when they're right, or more likely, when they're wrong. When Tom Stoppard spoke to Robert Kelly, who's the artistic director in one of our local theaters, Theater Works, Tom Stopper said, you only need to know one thing about this play, and that is, I was in love when I wrote it. And that single thought has guided all the decisions we've made about this play. We have a great cast. We have Alona Bach, who is 18 years old and on her way to Harvard, as our Thomasina. She is a modern day Thomasina. Paul Stout is playing Septimus. Paul Stout has a natural, aristocratic, gentlemanly feel to him. He makes for a very sympathetic Septimus. And in the contemporary world, we meet Bernard, and he's played by Christopher Kelly, and he has high energy, and Christopher's having a great time. He loves to play Bernard, and Bernard is one of these people who loves himself very much, and is very impressed with himself. He's a great comic character, requires great energy, and that's what Christopher Kelly is delivering. Then we have Hannah Jarvis, and she is played by Jody Christian. And Hannah is kind of the opposite of Bernard. She is very reflective. She is kind of recessive. She doesn't interact as well with people. And then we have Valentin Coverley. He's the young man. He's the mathematician. And he's played by Aaron Lindstrom. And again, what's interesting here is that Valentine can be seen as just a mouthpiece for many of the theories of the play. But Valentine is embodying those theories. And he's showing the frustration of the scientific pursuit of those theories. And in the play, Valentine is a very kind of fractured person who's working on fractals. So it's a really interesting portrait by Aaron Lindstrom. And then we have Chloe Coverley, and that is Rachel Ferencovich. And Rachel's wonderful because this is, a, frankly, a little bit of a smaller part. She has less to work with than the other three main characters in the contemporary scene. Just by saying the words, Mr. Nightingale, she can melt us and bring us into her worldview. And so, I'm just so impressed with all the various actors we have. There are other actors. There's Bryce, there's Chater, there's Jellyby. These are small comic gems, and they're all inhabited as well by their actors, too. So it's a very strong cast, and everyone's working very well together. And it's going to be really fun to see all this cast come together in our production. Our show runs from January 20th until February 18th, Friday and Saturday nights, with a Sunday matinee on February 12th. Evening shows begin at 8 p.m., the matinee at 2 p.m. For more information, you can see our website, aeofberkeley.org. Thank you very much.